how would you describe what you do, especially to someone who's never seen your work before? How would you entice them to come out and look and form an opinion? Well, once, once the viewer is invited into that space or into that immediate surroundings, um, what the sculpture does to them is entirely how they respond to it. So I would say my work is there to interest like any other type of artwork regardless if, you know um, if someone thinks it's great or it isn't um, I think that the energy comes from the viewer so I think I would leave that interpretation for them Where do you get your ideas and all inspiration from? Um, a lot of my inspirations um, come from the environment the surroundings that I'm in um, if it's not my immediate environment so you know immediately from when I wake up in my house in the morning or you know I visit a friend for a day and I've never been to that area before um, so environmental factors society um, world issues and um, people that are close to me and if not people that I know of it could be things that I see in strangers um, I but anyone should, and I do believe people should read, you know. Um, reading is the fundamental of life, and it's about learning. Um, hence why, you know, some people stay ignorant. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'm influenced by a lot of things, so that's the main. How does my work fit in today's contemporary art scene? It doesn't have to, it doesn't have to fit in today's contemporary art scene. Um, I purely create what I want to create based upon my experiences, and how I view, I'm not trying to make a household name for myself, I just want to create what feels right for me and if the viewer is enabled to appreciate whatever it is I'm creating, that's all the better and it doesn't even have to be on a level of this is a good taste or a good piece of art or this is something that I hate. Well, Domain Ways is a group exhibition with myself, um, Josephine Tai, Megan McMullen and Shannon Champney and they are all um, contemporary painters um, so I'm the only sculptor but um, that doesn't um, you know distract us working or collaborating together um, we work well together and we've, we've shared a lot of ideas and to uh, be involved in this exhibition together is fantastic so um, Domain Ways kind of touches upon all of our artistic ways of creating how we feel um, in different ways, but we are, we are all talking about the same thing. Um, how will the installation perform at Fabrica? Well, how I would like the sculptures um, to be installed um, would be in a way that um, surprises the viewer, but at the same time, they're still not lost within the exhibition, which hopefully will not happen. How I usually install my work, um, like any artist, um, it carefully, the, the space is important, it has to be carefully thought out thoroughly. Um, and how I usually project my work is through um, small, small, small scales of intricate bits that creates a mass. Um, so you could usually find some of the work on a stairway or in a hallway or um, you know in little corners or more times sometimes in the middle of, of the room so it, it all depends but Fabrica's space is quite a large space but um, I don't see there will be any type of um, issue to do the installation there. In this exhibition, why have you chosen these materials? Why why have you used these materials? Well, the materials that I use with what I create are usually throwaway objects, they're found objects, they're materials that you wouldn't usually expect to be combined together. So, um, unconventional materials, so, you know, um, rope, um, car tyre strips, um, you know, a handle of a toothbrush, um, you know, parts of material and fabrics. So um, I use a, a, a great amount of different objects um, in my work 
Um, so it's all about the feeling when I do create these sculptures that are in my hand. Um, whatever the result is, is whatever I was feeling at the time or whatever works well with one another. Um, so yeah. Apart from sculpting, do you do any other primary studies like drawing? Um, drawing is important to me but at the same time I'm also a printmaker and print usually, or not usually, quite a lot of the time comes into my work. So the way people use drawing, I use print for the initial stages of my sculptures. Um, and that is printmaking in any type of area, so whether that's lino um, or um, mono printing, usually it is the printmaking that usually starts off my development of my work, um, which is quite exciting. And the two do go well together. So, what should people expect from Domain Ways exhibition? Um, as I said, Domain Ways is a collaboration of myself and the other artists mentioned. Um, that are all painters and people should expect um, a diverse range of creativity um, at one event and it will just basically draw upon the issues that we are concerned about in society. Um, right now we all um, live in Leicester so we based our immediate responses and interests within that area. Um, you know, one painter, Josephine Tai, she was looking at um, the lights and the atmosphere and the busyness of, you know, Leicester City and the people and so on and how light reflects and um, she uses a lot of colour, so that's quite beautiful in itself, you know, so expect a lot of energy from all of us, you know. Um, uh, Sh Shannon may execute her work through people and, um, you know, the everyday life of people that are like homeless and have nowhere to live you know so she might get that grimy effect of things or maybe looking at families in a more detailed way so you know maybe like a close-up portrait of a, an eye of a baby in a push pram or a, or a I don't know a screaming three-year-old how we all interpret our disciplines into that exhibition you know um, I've kind of looked at what we're doing in a slightly different way because I'm kind of looking more outside of Leicester, outside of the UK because um, I found that that would interest me more and usually my work kind of involves off a, a small environment to a greater thing so I have much so more to work with and more to go on with so world issues. You should know is that it will be a great exhibition. Um, many disciplines um, intercrossing into one another, and um, it would just be a good night not to miss. And um, as artists, we're just uh, quite happy and interested in how the exhibition comes together as one through all the different disciplines and how we create our work.